Hey everyone, let's take a look at how to add SEO, search engine optimization, so meta tags, title and description to your Nuxt application. So we have um, a chapter in the documentation called meta tags and SEO, and you'll find everything that you need in here, how to add the head tag into your application. Now, if you have an application already uh, created using Create Nuxt app, this will already be added for you in the Nux config. So you'll get this head tag with a title and some meta, and you'll see content is empty here, for example. And then if you go to your application, you'll see you get that title and you get that content description and content is empty, right? So that's kind of not very good. We should put a type content here. So for example, my amazing application. Now, every time I save something to my Nux config, it has to rebuild the whole application. And that can take a little bit of time. So there is a better way in, um, especially in development, when you're working with this, to actually, you know, to use this. So you can use, leave it in your Nuxt config and the Nuxt config is at the very top. The next level down after the Nuxt Nux config is the default layout, right? So if you put something in here, um, I can now modify this. So instead of that title, I can say learn Nuxt with Debbie, for example. And now across my application, I don't have to rebuild yeah that's instant doesn't have to rebuild my application and i get those changes um straight away so that's a much better way of doing it and i'm going to get that same title and that same description um my amazing application across every single page so that's at the top level so remember nooks config is at the top the next level is the layout and after that then of course is the page so i could literally then copy this and put it into my like about page, for example. And then I put this in here and then I can say, um, learn Nux with Debbie about page, for example, and my amazing application about page. And of course, these are terrible um, titles and descriptions, so you should write better ones. Um, but then if I go to my about page, yeah, I'm getting those are changed, right? So you can see that that's changing there. So that's how that works. Now, what Nuxt uses is it uses view meta. So if you go to view meta, for example, you'll uh, you'll see here we have meta info and Nuxt uses head. Other than that, it's the same, but you have to use the head instead of um, meta info. And you'll also notice in here when we, um, when we created our content that we had like a HID. So um, if we look in here, we have this HID description. So what is this? So the HID, again, is coming from view meta and it's the unique identifier. So if I put in here uh, unique metadata, you'll see that in uh, view meta it's called VMID and um, in Nuxt it's called HID. And what that does is it makes sure that we're only getting um, one description, right? We're not getting the description from the Nuxt config and from the layout and from the, um, and the page itself. We're only getting one so that VMID in Nuxt HID ensures that we get only that one description that we want. So that's how that works. Okay, so what else can we do? So we've got our title, we've got our meta description, that's great. Now, really, we can do so much more. And in our Nuxt um, documentation, you can see, um, you can see we can do more, but let's have a look at what view meta is allowing us to do. So we've got a title, We've got also got a title template, right? So we can actually add a title template in here. Let's just copy that, go into our application, and I'm going to put it in the layout default page. So it's available across all my pages. And instead of using Baz, I'm going to use the word Nuxt. And what this is doing is this is going to get replaced by the title. So I'm going to get a dash Nuxt. I can even just change this to, I don't know, something like that to a bar because I like that more. And then if I go to my application, I'm going to get my title with Nuxt here, right? And if I go to the home page, my title changes, but I still get that Nuxt. And that's how the title template works. And you can also use um, uh, a title template as a function. So you can copy that and it works the same. It just, if it's undefined or blank, then you don't get the hyphen. So that's another way of using it. What else do we have? We have HTML atters, head atters, and body atters. So this is really interesting. Let's have a look at the HTML atters first. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to put them in in here so you can see them. And what I'm doing is I'm adding the HTML address of lang being en and amp being true. And what that is going to do for me is it's going to give me lang en and amp true. So if we're using amp, then it's going to you know put that across our application. So that's really, really cool. 
Um, another thing then we have is body archers. So we can add a body class, a class to the body of our application by literally just using the body archers. So we put this in here and now we're gonna get dark mode and mobile and we can change this, right? We can put Debbie, for example, you know, just to show you that it works. And if we go in here, then in my body, got to scroll down to find my body and my body tag, I've got dark mode in Debbie, right? So that's cool. And then again, that's across all my application. So a really cool stuff here. Again, I'm using the view meta documentation for this. And there's other interesting things, for example, um, and you can, you know, read through this. You can add links as well, you know, style sheets, etc. And, you know, let me just show you if I was to go to an application that gives me this, um, this style sheet, right? And you get this, you know, like how would we then transfer this so that we could use it? So we could literally just copy this, go to our application, and then we have already a link. I'm gonna put this only on the about page just to show you the difference, right? So I can put in here and, and then I'm just gonna like, you know, paste this into my array. So it's gonna break because this needs to go. So you need to get rid of this um, script tag, right? Because we're not using the HTML tag in here. And then this needs to be an object. So I need to just, you know, make this an object, make this an object, make this an object, make this an object. And then literally instead of the equals, we need to just make sure it's the two dots. So we're basically saying that, and, and a comma between them, right? And then we're basically saying, you know, we want to use this style sheet uh, with this href. And if I save that now, it's going to make that beautiful. I'm using JS Deliver to deliver me this new CSS. Now if I go to my application and let's have a look at what's happening. If I go to the about page, I'm going to get, I get this beautiful black background, right? So the home page is giving me one color and the about page is giving me another. So that's how that works. And that's really cool. And you should see it in here i might need to refresh the dev tools so i can you know see it and um and there we have that js deliver um the styles are messing around a little bit because of the difference between the layout and the about page so don't worry too much about that but that's in there as you can see so you can also add um, script tags exactly the same um and actually we have an example in here of using external resources and a script tag literally you know, just copy this here and go to the application and instead of links at the bottom of link, link is an array, we put our script as an array with our jQuery and then on the about page, I should have um, jQuery in my about page. Again, refresh the dev tools in order to see it and you've got uh, jQuery there on the about page, lovely. Um, what else can we do? We can add a font. So we can add like a Google font. So I'm just gonna copy this here um, into my link tag because it's a font. And I've got the style sheet of Roboto font. And I save that in the about page. And then I can just, you know, I have one already here. I can just copy that style, put it in my, in my style. And now my H1 font should be different. Let's just have a look and you might take a second to see it. There we go. And what does it look like? There we go. You can see it there changing, right? <laughs> so there's a little bit of messing going on because I am throwing style sheets onto different pages. It's probably not a good idea, but just so you can see like, you know, um, how it's working generally probably just let like don't add different style sheets to different pages because you might get differences and stuff. Um, what else can we do? Something really, really interesting is that we can add um, we can add the head as a function instead. So if we want to have access to the data property, then we need to add um, the head as a function instead of as an object. So let's copy that and put that on the home page. And in the index page, we can just paste that in here. And oh, I pasted too much. Let me just get rid of that. There we go. And now home page uh, with next, for example, and then this dot title, and I can use this up here as well, right? So I could even change this to be title. So now it's dynamic. It's coming from my data property and the, um, the title is gonna use that as well. So if I go to the home page, 
I'm going to get home page with Nuxt and home page with Nuxt. So you can see how that's compiled. And that's using the, the um, head as a function instead of as an object. And this is all explained um, here in the documentation. And don't forget to use the view uh, meta documentation for more um, properties and things that you can use. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have fun um, making your application uh, better search engine optimized. Thank you. Bye.